Hi, welcome to Parnika Maths. Today we are going to discuss NCRT 10th Maths, New Chapter, 8th Chapter, Introduction to Trigonometry. Let us see some introduction about this chapter. Trigonometry, it is a Greek word. Tri means three, gone means sides, metron means measure. Means trigonometry is a study of relationship between the sides and angles of a triangle. In this chapter, we will learn about right angle the triangle. Let us consider a right angle triangle A, B, C. If I consider any angle here, um, theta, then angle opposite this side is called as, it is opposite to the angle, no? Now automatically this side is called as opposite side. For this angle theta, this is the opposite side. This angle is touching this side, no? So, this side is called as adjacent side. And the longest side AC is called as hypotenuse. Did you understand more? If we consider any right angle triangle, if this is the angle theta, I am considering it as an angle theta and the side opposite to it is called opposite side. Here, Angle is touching this side, no? Then this side is called as adjacent side. And the longest side is called as hypotenuse. Let us consider one more right angle triangle. If I consider a right angle triangle ABC and this is the angle C, for this angle, the, this becomes the opposite side. Did you understand, ma? The longest side is same. It is hypotenuse. Hypotenuse will be always opposite to the right angle. If this is the right angle, then opposite to it is hypotenuse. And the angle is touching this side. So, this side is called as adjacent side. Did you understand the differences between this? Did you? Is it okay? And this trigonometry is used by astronomers to study the distances between stars and planets from the earth. Stars and planets from the earth. Not only by the astronomers, it was used in different fields of engineering and physical studies. Trigonometry was also useful in our daily life. Example, if there is one building, we want to find the height of this building. Is it necessary to measure from here to here? No need. If I make a right angle triangle like this, if I stand here, if I measure this angle to the topmost point of the building, by this knowing angle, I can find the height of the building. Let's draw one example. If I consider BC as a height of the building, I want to know the height of the building. By the trigonometry, we can know the height of the building. I am standing here, I am standing at point A. 2 meters ahead from the building and the slant height to the topmost point of the building is 3 meters. Let me consider like this. Then I can know the height of the building by using the Pythagoras theorem. What is Pythagoras theorem? Hypotenuse square equals to sum of the squares of the other two sides means AB square plus BC square. Did you understand ma? Hypotenuse means here what? A C square. A C square equals to A B square plus B C square. In the same way, I can find the height of the building. See here, A C square, 3 square, 9. A B square, 2 square, 4. Plus B C square. I want B C square, no? Let me send 4 to this side. 9 minus 4. So, what is B C square now? 5. I want B C. So, what it becomes? Root 5 meters. Did you understand? This is the way I can find the heights of any buildings. In this trigonometry, we can find the heights of the buildings, width of the rivers. When kite is flying on the sky, we can know the distance from our place. So, this trigonometry is used in our daily life. Let us see some problems. In this chapter, we are going to study about two topics that is trigonometric ratios 
and trigonometric identities. Identities. See some introduction about trigonometric ratios. They are sin a, cos a, tan a, cot a, secant a, cosecant a. Let us consider one right angle triangle. I am considering A, B, C. If I take the angle here, then it is called as angle A. So for this, this is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side. And AC is called as hypotenuse. Let us see what are the angles becomes. Angle sin A equals to opposite side by hypotenuse. Did you understand what? Sin A means opposite side by hypotenuse. In the same way, cos A equals to adjacent side by hypotenuse. Did you remember here? See here, for this both, denominators are same. Hypotenuse, hypotenuse. For sine, opposite side. For cos, adjacent side. Tan means what? Tan A equals to opposite side by adjacent side. If we see carefully, opposite side by hypotenuse. This is nothing but if I write like this. Opposite side by hypotenuse. Adjacent side by hypotenuse, hypotenuse, hypotenuse cancel. So, I got it as opposite side by adjacent side. Opposite side by hypotenuse is nothing but sin A. By adjacent side by hypotenuse is nothing but cos A. By this, we what we have learned? Sin A by cos A equals to tan A. Is it okay? One more thing. Cot A equals to... 1 by tan A. Means what you will get ma? Tan means opposite side by adjacent. Cot is reciprocal of tan. Then what you will get? Reciprocal. Adjacent side by opposite side. In the same way. This is sin by cos. So what it becomes? Cos A by sin A. Are you knowing the relation between everything? And one more thing. Next is cosecant A. Cosecant A is the reciprocal of sin. 1 by sin A. Means what you will get my here? Hypotenuse by opposite side. Hypotenuse by opposite side. Are you understanding it? Next, secant A. Secant is the reciprocal of cos. 1 by cos A. That equals to what it becomes? Hypotenuse by adjacent side. By this what we can say ma, if any one angle is known, means if sin A is known, all other angles can be known. See here, sin means what? Opposite side by hypotenuse. Cos means adjacent side by hypotenuse. Tan means opposite side by adjacent side. And cot is opposite, uh, reciprocal of tan. Cosecant is reciprocal of sin. Secant is reciprocal of cos. You remember that ma? One shortcut to remember is for sine and cos, the denominator is hypotenuse. Sine is opposite side, cos is adjacent side. Tan means sine by cos. Tan means sine by cos. Next, cot means 1 by tan. Cosecant means 1 by sine. Secant means 1 by cos. See here, if any uh, one or uh, two sides are known, other side can be known. I already said for you. That is by using the Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square, AC square equals to AB square plus BC square. By using this Pythagoras theorem and by using this formulas, we can find all the sides and all the angles. Did you understand? Let me go to the exercise now. Let us start now. Exercise 8.1. 8.1 first problem. See the question what they have given in triangle ABC. Right angle at B. Right angle at B. Then this is the hypotenuse more. Opposite side to right angle. AB equals to 24 centimeters. What is the side AB? 24 centimeters. And BC equals to 7. BC is 7 centimeters. What we have to find? Determine sin A cos A sin C cos C. First, if I consider this angle, I want sin A and cos A. For this, we have to find this hypotenuse, no? By solution. By 
பைத்தோகிரஸ்திரம் பைத்தோகிரஸ்திரம் ஹைபோட்டனஸ் ஸ்கொயர் அண்டே மீன்ஸ் ஏசி ஸ்கொயர் ஈக்வல்ஸ் டு ஏபி ஸ்கொயர் ப்ளஸ் பிசி ஸ்கொயர் ஏபி ஸ்கொயர் மீன்ஸ் ட்வெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் ஸ்கொயர் ப்ளஸ் பிசி ஸ்கொயர் செவன் ஸ்கொயர் ஃபார் ஃபைண்டிங் திஸ் ட்வெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் ஸ்கொயர் ஐ ஹவ் செட் ஆல்ரெடி ஷார்ட் கட் இன் லாஸ்ட் வீடியோஸ் வாட் இஸ் தட் மா டூ ஸ்கொயர் ஃபோர் ரைட் இட் ஆஸ் ஜீரோ ஃபோர் ஃபோர் ஸ்கொயர் சிக்ஸ்டீன் நோ மல்டிப்ளை ஆல் திஸ் நம்பர்ஸ் ஃபோர் டூ ச எயிட் எயிட் டூ ச சிக்ஸ்டீன் லேவ் திஸ் பிளேஸ் ரைட் ஹியர் ஜஸ்ட் ஆட் இட் சிக்ஸ் ப்ளஸ் ஒன் செவன் ஃபோர் ப்ளஸ் ஒன் ஃபைவ் ட்வெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் ஸ்கொயர் இஸ் ஃபைவ் செவன்ட்டி சிக்ஸ் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் யூ செக் இன் யூர் கேல்குலேட்டர்ஸ் செவன் ஸ்கொயர் ஃபோர்ட்டி நைன் ஆட் இட் நைன் ஃபிஃப்டீன் ஃபைவ் செவன் எயிட் நைன் டென் லெவன் டுவெல் சிக்ஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் திஸ் இஸ் ஏசி ஸ்கொயர் ஐ வாண்ட் ஏசி இட் பிகம்ஸ் ரூட் ஆஃப் சிக்ஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் ஃபார் ஃபைண்டிங் ரூட் சிக்ஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் ரூட் இஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் நோ லெட் அஸ் செக் இட் ட்வெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் ஸ்கொயர் டூ ஸ்கொயர் ஃபோர் ஃபைவ் ஸ்கொயர் ட்வெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் ஃபைவ் டூ ஜ டென் டென் டூ ஜ ட்வெண்ட்டி ஆட் இட் சிக்ஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் ஸோ ரூட் ஆஃப் சிக்ஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் இஸ் ட்வெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் ஸோ ஐ வாட் ஏசி வேல்யூ ஏசி இஸ் ட்வெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் சென்டிமீட்டர்ஸ் ஸோ ரைட் இட் ஹியர் ட்வெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் சென்டிமீட்டர்ஸ் நான் வாட் தஸ் ஆஸ்க் இட் சைன் ஏ சைன் ஏ ஈக்வல்ஸ் டூ வாட் இஸ் த ஃபார்முலா ஃபார் சைன் மா ஆப்போசிட் சைட் பை ஹைபோட்டனஸ் வி மஸ்ட் நாட் ஃபர்கெட் திஸ் ஆப்போசிட் சைட் பை ஹைபோட்டனஸ் opposite side for angle for sin angle what is the opposite side 7 what is hypotenuse see here 25 are in the same way cos a what is the formula for cos adjacent side by hypotenuse for angle a what is adjacent side ab so it is 24 by hypotenuse hypotenuse is 25 that's all and see the second this is the first question see the second question what they said sin c cos c means angle is c for this angle we have to find sin c same formula opposite side by hypotenuse see here for angle c what is the opposite side angle c opposite side ab means hypotenuse Yes, see. Opposite side is how much more? 24. By hypotenuse is 25. In the same way, cos C equals to adjacent side by hypotenuse. What is co for cos C? Attached angle more. This angle is attached to this side. So, this is the adjacent side. That is BC. By hypotenuse is AC. What is BC value? 7 by 25. That's all. Our problem is over. You have to remember only one thing. Sign means opposite side by hypotenuse. Cos means adjacent side by hypotenuse. What is opposite side? What is adjacent side? If I consider angle A, this angle opposite. This is opposite side. And this angle is touching this side. No? So this is adjacent side for angle A. And for angle C, if I consider, hypotenuse is same for both. Ma. Ha, longest side is called as hypotenuse. If I consider angle C, for angle C, what is the opposite side? A, B. This angle is touching this side, no? So, this side, B, C is called as adjacent side. Did you understand? If you are getting confused, just rewind the video and see again. These are very, very important. And this, then you can solve the problems very easily. then for you trigonometry chapter will be very very easy okay if you have any doubt give in the comment box if you like this video press on the like button share my channel subscribe to my channel continuation we will see in the next video thank you